Do projector screens actually matter? All right, this video will talk about why they matter, qualities of a good screen, the projector screen that I use if you haven't already seen, ambient light rejecting screens, and some good product examples, all right? So, let's get started. Projector screens matter because of their material type, their color, and their texture, all right? This all affects the quality of the image. The color of your screen also comes into play a little bit and dark colors are better, such as gray or black, because they will actually have less observed screen gain, all right? The texture of your screen is also important. You want a smoother and finer material to make the image look sharper. The rougher the screen, the more pixelated it will look, and it will reduce the quality and the contrast you can see on it, all right? As you can see, my screen is white. Because my screen is white, I have to black out my home theater a lot more. This, this isn't a bad thing and it's still like my projector like displays awesome quality when we watch movies and stuff, but light pollution is a little less forgiving. With a gray or a black one, it will be more forgiving to light pollution, especially if you get an ambient light rejecting screen, which I'll talk about later. So, there's four qualities that you should look for in a good projector screen. One, it should be user friendly, it should be easy to set up, it should be easy to take down. You actually, if you have a home theater for a long period of time, you will wanna tweak your setup a little bit and you want a screen that gives you the freedom to do so. Two, when you look at the description on Amazon, it should say, or wherever you buy from, it should say it's like a cinna white, cinna gray, cinna black material. All right, so know this, white colors, more screen gain, less forgiving to light pollution, gray, medium, black, most forgiving to light pollution if you wanna view in a fairly lit room, all right? Some people can disagree with me on that, but that is from the research and personal experience that I have undergone. Okay, guys, if you look, please make sure that your projector screen is durable. Look for reviews that talk about the durability of a screen, all right? The screen is going to collect dust over the years. Maybe you take it outside like I do to watch outdoor movies and it falls on the grass and gets a grass stain. Your projector screen should be machine washable, all right? And it shouldn't tear easily, even though the material is soft. Yes, there is a middle ground that that, that synthetic material is going to be important with respect to these, to these factors. Make sure the texture is smooth, again. You don't want it rough because then that's how you get those elementary school pixelated projector images. They just, it's scratching, it doesn't look good. You want the really nice, smooth, slick, smooth ones that feel like really soft. My projector screen that you can see from those videos are the Elite, it's the Elite Screens 120 inch. I absolutely love it. We purchased two hook wall mounts and we put those up there, assembled the frame and just latched it on and it was super good to go. We could literally pick it up and bring it outside, move it around however we wanted to. Really lightweight, one person could do the whole thing and it collapses super easily. We've washed it, so it's awesome. I, I personally would love to recommend this screen to anybody. I, I saw some comments related to the screen in my other uh, review, that video. You can just check it out if you want more details on this one specifically. But there's an article that accommodates this. So if you go to entertainmentden.com or you look in the description, you'll see the article that this video was made for. Okay, we have a fairly good projector that we use and we get awesome, outstanding looking images from it. It's the Epson 2040 and it's paired with the Elite screens, all right? So most people wouldn't consider this to be a super insanely amazing projector, but it blew our minds when we first put this thing against, you know, when we, set up the screen as well. So it was actually pretty cool to see that, like those two things come together. There's something called ambient light rejecting screens. And these things are actually pretty cool for a couple of reasons. Basically, they're the material is designed in a way that literally rejects ambient light, except for the projector light that is coming straight onto it, all right? This makes images pop. It makes them pop, it makes them look beautiful, it makes them look like a TV almost. They are a lot more expensive than regular screens. But there are some good ones that are at fairly reasonable prices, even though um, I'd probably say a couple hundred dollars you could get an ALR screen, all right? If you ever need to upgrade your projector screen from the one you have now, get an ambient light rejecting screen. These things look awesome. You can see the direct comparison and the increase in video quality that they give you 
by these videos. So there's three other screens that I would recommend. They have been well reviewed. I have researched them. This was on our wish list of thing of screens that we were going to buy before we settled on the Elite screens, all right? So the Sable Frame B2 is really awesome. It's very similar to the one that we have for all the reasons I just mentioned earlier. The Deluxe Screens 4K is super good too. This one's more expensive, but I like that it comes in larger sizes and there's more customization features with the aspect ratio and things like that. You can choose the color. You can basically build this thing. You can have, you basically can have somebody build this thing for you exactly how you want. So then the last one is the Elite Screens A A Aeon, Aeon Cinegray ALR. So this is an ambient light rejecting one. I would not recommend spending anything more than the price of this one because you kind of get into a world of diminishing returns. Uh, this is probably the best one you could get for your money and your value. I'd say Elite Screens and Silver Ticket are probably the two best brands of screens that you can get um, for a lot of reasons. And then if you're curious on more information with ambient light rejecting screens, go to the link below, entertainmentden.com ambient light rejecting screens. There's a complete buying guide if you are like set on this type of feature in your projector screen. Some other general takeaways, if you don't have a dedicated screen just yet, you want to have a little bit of buffer space between the walls and like the floor and the ceiling of your screen. You don't want your screen to literally be wedged into the wall and not have any breathing space on from any direction because taking it up and putting it down, you're actually gonna need that buffer space. Maybe you put speakers there. It's easier to adjust your setup if you give it that, all right? So I would leave 12 inches on every single side. You know, have about a foot of free space in all directions. And then remember, synthetic material for your projector screen is the best Cine Gray, Cine White, Cine Black, okay? You'll see what I'm talking about in any product that you look at, all right? So that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, that's all I got.